I want to talk about the U.S.-backed anti-government protests here in Thailand, their use of violence, and how the Western media and their local partners here in Thailand have been covering it up. Now, this is exactly what the Western media does everywhere the U.S. tries to interfere. They were doing the exact same thing in Hong Kong, where they covered up violence that the Hong Kong protesters were carrying out on a daily basis. They covered it up for as long as possible until until basically the protests were ended by the Chinese government. Now, just yesterday there were protests outside Parliament. There were two groups, the anti-government protesters and a yellow-shirted group. There were also the police. Now, the violence began when the anti-government protesters tried to cross a police line and get closer to the parliament building. They were restricted from getting any closer than 50 meters, and they were determined all day to cross that police line. Now, in order to cross the police line, they had to physically remove barriers and they had to physically assault the police and force them to move out of the way, which is what they were doing. Now, when the police finally withdrew, these protesters ended up clashing with that yellow-shirted group. And the yellow-shirted group held that police line pretty much throughout the entire night until everything was over. But this is what the opposition media is reporting today. Police show true colors in ugly clashes outside Parliament. One side was abused and attacked. The other got away with everything. And of course, they're talking about how the police used uh, water hoses and tear gas to try to deter these anti-government protesters from crossing the police line. And they're claiming that the police were easy on this yellow-shirted group. But what were the, what were the anti-government protesters doing? They were doing things like this. This was what they were doing to cross these lines. And this was after the police already withdrew. And so now they're using this violence against the yellow-shirted group. And you can see those are police buses back there. And this is the barrier partially removed right here. And this is what they were doing all day and all night last night. And before the police withdrew, they were doing the same thing to the actual police. So this is an image of the, the anti-government protesters beating the police and forcing them to withdraw. This is what they did to both police vehicles and public vehicles. That's a public bus right now. These were all destroyed by these anti-government protesters. This is not peaceful protesting. This is violence. And here are the anti-government protesters. Not only are they looting a police truck, you can see them stealing the riot shields and other equipment, but what are they doing behind the truck? Let's take a look. As they move off, you can see that they were savagely beating one of the yellow-shirted group members. So they, they outnumbered him and they were savagely beating him. That's not peaceful protesting. That man was outnumbered. He had absolutely no way to fight back, and they were savagely beating him, and they only left because the media camera came. Again, this is the anti-government line here, and on the other side was the yellow-shirted group. This is one of their protesters with a firearm trying to shoot at the yellow shirts. Now, it looked like it jammed, and he tried to unjam it and fire it again at the yellow-shirted group, and we don't know if there were other people among the anti-government protesters with firearms, but we know this man had a firearm and he attempted to use it. So none of this was covered by the Western media today in the aftermath of this violence yesterday. And the local Thai opposition media, which is quite significant, also didn't report any of this. They did what I just showed you with the, the Thai Inquirer. They tried to claim that the, the anti-government protesters were the victims. And of course, they weren't. And this is exactly what they did in Hong Kong. So what I want to conclude on is don't expect the Western media or, or the media here in Thailand to tell the truth. They are not going to. They're going to lie about it for as long as possible, probably until the protests are over. And then they will continue lying about it into the future in retrospect. For us to get the truth out, we need to share this information with as many people as possible, both within Thailand and with international audiences. So if you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it. Share it any way that you want to. And also, if you subscribe to the channel, it helps it grow. And as always, thank you very much for watching.